Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm doing a review of Math with Confidence Kindergarten Level. This curriculum was created by Kate Snow and it's published by the Well-Trained Mind Press. You can purchase these separately, but I wanted to have both the teacher's guide and the student workbook. I bought the printable PDF versions and did the binding myself, but you can certainly opt for the hard copy versions of these if that's what you prefer. This program is geared towards 5-6 to six year olds and it says that your child doesn't need to have completed a formal preschool program first. But being able to count to 10 and being able to hold a pencil will definitely help though. The way I see it, you know your child best, you know what they're capable of doing and what they're not and what will lead to frustration and pushback. So you definitely need to gauge their level of interest and engagement in math and then just go from there. My daughter only recently turned 3 but she has a good grasp on numbers. She can already count 100 even in random order and she can write her numbers pretty well. And since she has been exposed to rise start mathematics, she has also learned to supertize quantities up to 10. So because she's already familiar with some of the concepts that are covered in here and it's a very hands-on math program, I wanted to try it out with her and see how it goes. But if you feel like your child might not be ready for this level, you could try out their preschool book which is called Preschool Math at Home. So moving on, this program is broken into 10 units and each unit roughly takes anywhere between 2-5 to five weeks to complete. So technically you can complete this whole program within 32 weeks and that's assuming that you're going to be doing this program 4 days a week instead of a 5 day schedule. So skipping ahead here, just to show you what a week looks like, it starts off with an overview which gives you a brief summary of what you will teach that week along with the list of the lessons. So in week 1, children will be introduced to numbers 1 to 4 and instead of focusing on learning to count, the focus will be learning to supertize, as in learning to quickly recognize quantities up to 4 by sight. And there will also be activities in here which will give your child practice reading and writing those numerals. Then there's this little section here called Teaching Math with Confidence. There's a section like this at the beginning of every week and these give you insight into how children actually learn these concepts. So you're better prepared to teach these lessons and it's not something I would skip because I have found them to be very helpful. Next, they give you a list of items that you will need for the activities for the week. And these are just household items that you can easily find around the house. Then they provide you with ideas for how to incorporate these concepts they're learning into everyday activities. And finally, they also recommend reading a math picture book which aligns with that week's topic. And you can find the entire book list arranged by week at the end of this teacher's guide, which is right here. So there's 32 books in here. Now you don't have to read each of these books or even do all the recommended activities. You can definitely pick and choose and do whatever suits your family needs. Then you actually move on to each day's lesson. And I wanted to quickly mention that these are open and go lessons. And by that I mean the actual lessons are scripted. So you know exactly what you need to say. Possible answers are written in italics and any additional information or explanations are highlighted in grey. So these are simple activities, they don't take much time at all. Some days there will be a review and warm up session which could potentially take 3-5 to five minutes. The actual hands on activities themselves could take anywhere between 5-10 to 10 minutes. And finally, the math lesson for the day will conclude by completing a short workbook page which could possibly take 2-5 to five minutes. After showing you the layout of this program, I will share a day's lesson with my daughter so you can get a feel for how we do it and as you will see from that, it really doesn't take that long to complete a lesson from start to finish. I think it was only about 15 minutes. Also at the end of each week, you will find the answer key to that week's worksheets which is quite handy. At the end of each unit, you have these checkpoints and these are broken down into three parts. What to expect at the end of the unit? 
gives you a list of skills that tell you what kindergartens are typically able to do at the end of each unit. Is your child ready to move on? Tells you what your child needs to have mastered before being able to move on to the next unit. And the last part gives you a list of activities you can do to help your child master the concepts if they're not ready to move on to next week's topic. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a hands-on math program, which means you will need to have some basic supplies. And it's very easy and inexpensive to put together this math kit. You need a hundred small counters. It can be anything, but it's important to have at least two different colors. We have quite a few counters like these counting bears and so forth, but our go-to is these tiles we use for Right Start Mathematics. Whatever you choose, you just have to make sure they fit inside these black line masters, which you can find in the appendix. It's about 2 centimeters across or 0.75 inches. Then you need a set of pattern blocks. These are not very expensive, but if you didn't want to buy a set, you can photocopy these pages in Appendix 3 and color them and laminate the pieces if you like. But I find that having the actual blocks are so much easier to work with and more durable. You also need coins and if you live outside the US, they have other options which you can find on page 25 which is this one right here. And the last thing you need are the number cards to play various games. We just use the number card sets that came with our Rise Start Mathematics kit. Finally, I want to show you what you find at the back of the teacher's guide. So it starts off with a scope and sequence for each unit which is very helpful. A complete list of math picture books. Then you have the materials you need to complete the lessons. And finally, all the Blackline Masters. So now I'll give you a quick flip through of the student workbook and then finally show you how we do the lessons. We have been really enjoying this math program and my daughter is definitely enjoying it. And I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks a bunch for watching. So today we're going to learn about the number one. Okay. So this squirrel is by itself. So we say there's just one squirrel. What if I move it? It's the same. That's right. So it's because it's only one squirrel. That's right. So what about if I move it here? It's the same. Um, so how many squirrels do we have? Only one. That's right. Why do you have a plastic one? That's we have two. Right. That's right. But can can you bring squirrels? the other? No. Is it because she's not in two? That's right. We're not doing two today. We're learning Which about one? number one. Tomorrow can I do two? What do you mean? Can I bring the other? Yeah, definitely. So how many squirrels do we have on the table? One. That's right. Can you hold up one finger for me? That's right. Can you look at my face? I have one nose. Can you point to your nose? It makes it two. That's right. I have one nose. Can you point to your one nose? That's right. I have one mouth. Can you point to your one mouth? That's right. Can you clap your hands one time? That's right. Can you balance on one foot? Right. 
You have just one nose and just one mouth. Can you look around the room for things that we have only one of? That's right. Okay, can you find something else? Plastic, one of plastic clothes. That's right. All of these is just one of those. Can you find something else? Number one. That's right. Can you circle all the number ones? That's right, good job. 